Hey everybody. So if you watched my last video, the uh, beer review for the 60 Minute IPA, you would uh, know that I was talking about a uh, wort chiller coming in the mail. Well, as soon as I finished that last video, I'm talking like I pressed N and I heard knock knock knock. I'm still even drinking the same IPA. As you can see, I haven't had much more than I had in the uh, beer review yet. But uh, yeah, as soon as I shut the camera off, lo and behold, the wart chiller came. So I wanted to do another quick video of the unboxing of my brand new wart chiller. And I can't help but have another sip of the IPA as I'm, as I'm doing this. As you can see, quite a large box. This thing is huge. Let's lay here for a second and enjoy it. Uh, so I'm going to open this bad boy up, give you a look. I, now I, I, um, for a long time, you know, we've only been brewing for about a year, and we've been doing the old ice bath, ice bath trick where you take the pot of wort, and we're not doing full boils or anything yet. We still do partial mashes and extract brews. Take the pot and put it in the ice water and shake it around and stir it, and that takes forever. And... I finally got to the point where I said I need to get one of these wart chillers. It, it'll just make things so much simpler. So uh, first I was going to uh, build one and I'm looking at how to build it and I'm agonizing over how much money I'm trying to save as much money as possible and I um, I decided that you know the meager savings that it would have been, I'm talking like maybe a $10, $15 at the most savings, it just wasn't worth it. Uh, to go through all the trouble. So I found this place, uh, New York Brew Supply. I'm going to start opening this as I talk. Uh, New York Brew Supply, and they had the best prices that I could find on wart chillers. And another thing that I decided to do was instead of get the standard copper one, I decided to go with a stainless steel version. Uh, the reason being that they're actually a little cheaper, which surprised me, being that it's stainless steel. Uh, but I guess copper is a little more money right now. And um, they're easier to clean, is what I read. They're, they'll be, you know, the copper will tar tarnish over time. It turns green when you're rinsing it out from the inside. There's a lot of stuff that comes out, and it's not a big deal. I wouldn't have really minded, but put that together with the the cost savings, and I figured I'd go with the stainless steel. Stainless steel will chill the uh, wart a little slower, but from what I've read, it's not that big a difference and on a homebrew scale we're talking a couple of minutes at most. Um, I ended up getting the 50 foot one which I don't need <laughs> right now. There she is. You can see that this is a, uh, a pretty large, this is the, the 50 foot one and you can see I think it's 24 inch inches from the bottom of the coils to the top of the inlet outlet uh, area. And um, I just decided, you know, it was an extra $20, I think, to upgrade from the 25 foot to the 50 foot. And I figured eventually I am going to do all grain. That's what I'm working up to. I'm trying to get all my equipment together to finally go all grain. And I just figured, you know, might as well get this now. <laughs> right now, my partial boils will probably only go maybe up to like there in the coil. So I'm only going to be, you know, using part of this. But eventually this will submerge through in a full five gallon boil. Uh, so that's that's the great stainless steel wart chiller, and it also comes with the um, it also comes with the vinyl tubing that goes on the ends of the wart chiller there, and it comes with the hose adapter, that's the uh, garden hose adapter, as well as a couple of hose clamps in order to attach these to the inlet and outlet uh, side of the wart chiller. And I sprung for the extra couple of bucks to get the, um, this thing is taped on there. Um, it's not really important to see it, but uh, I sprung for a couple extra bucks to get the, um, the sink adapter. That basically screws onto the end of the hose adapter that comes with it in order to be able to use this indoors uh, at the sink rather than having to take it outside and use it near a hose. And the reason why that's important for me right now is because I do all my brewing in the kitchen. I don't, I don't do anything outdoors because I, like I said, not all grain yet. Uh, once I go all grain, once I have the propane burner outside in the 10 gallon pot, uh, then, then I'll probably end up using this outside with the hose. But for now, this, uh, for a couple extra dollars, that sink adapter is going to be really helpful for me. 
So um, that's pretty much it. You know, it looks like there looks like there's some instructions along with it. I think the hose, the vinyl tubing, I think is one piece that I would cut myself to whatever size I want and then put it on those ends. Uh, for those who don't know, if any of my horror friends are watching and wonder what the heck is this thing, basically um, what happens is one end, we have really hot wort, uh, which, wort which is basically um, beer before it's fermented. Um, we have to chill that down as quickly as possible, preferably. And um, in order to do that, using a wort chiller, what would happen is you run through one end of this, you run cold water from a hose or from a sink. It goes in, it circulates throughout the coils, and it kind of sucks the heat out of the hot wort, and then out of the other end, it comes out hot water. So that effectively chills the wort, <laughs> which I guess is uh, obvious based on the name of this thing. So um, anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. I was pretty excited about getting it. it, it I'm, over the past year, I've been thinking about this, finally making the uh, plunge. Again, I got this through New York Brew Supply. Um, it was cheap. It was really cheap. It was 66 and change for the base price of the 50-foot stainless steel wort chiller. I paid, I think, three or four dollars, three dollars for the extra sink adapter and shipping was another maybe eight or nine dollars depending on if you go UPS or not. It came in like a day. I mean it got here so quick. I ordered this thing two days ago I think so it took two days. Uh, anyway again is my new uh, wart chiller. I'd love to do a video showing how it works. Um, that might have to be on an iPhone camera because I don't really have any other good cameras right now. But um, again just a quick unboxing video for that and um, have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.